Welcome to another edition of the Black Bears Report. It's moving it to he scores! Your host, Hockey TV voice of the Maryland Black Bears, Alex Utano. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of the Black Bear Report. I'm here with assistant coach Brandon Gotkin. Brandon, as always, thank you very much for taking time out of your schedule to come talk to us. Now, college night, when you guys eventually return home on January 31st, we'll be here at Piney Orchard Ice Arena. Uh, what's your favorite college theme movie? Um, definitely old school. Old school is a, is a good one. There's a lot. Animal House I like, um, but old school is hilarious. I'm a big Will Ferrell fan, so old school is a classic, and there's so many good lines. Oh, yeah, no, I'm a big Will Ferrell guy, too. He's one of those actors where you either love him or hate him because he plays the same guy. Yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're all in or all out, so yeah, he's a good one for sure. And there's also going to be Cornhole on college night. Now, if you could pick one player to be your partner, what would it be? Or who would it be? Um, yeah, so uh, there's a, a cornhole set in the gym. So there's I've seen some of the guys throw the bags around. Uh, Logan Kittleson's very, very good. Uh, but I like a little bit of a competition. So I'd probably uh, avoid maybe the player, and I'd have to go with uh, Clint. We got, we're, we're a tag team and everything, so we'd probably take down the players for sure. That's, that's a good choice. Now moving to the hockey side of things, unfortunately. It was a close, exciting rivalry weekend. Didn't go the way the Black Bears wanted. But what did you see on the ice that you could improve upon? But did you also see any positives to come out of this weekend as well? Yeah. Um, obviously, Johnstown's a tough place to play. Um, you know, I thought Friday night we kind of weathered the storm and we just didn't really have that last push. But um, Saturday was a much better uh, effort by our group and made a couple adjustments and, and got back to our process where we had that uh, nice little win streak going. So um, building up towards, you know, obviously uh, this weekend we thought our, our, our first, second and third period and a little bit of overtime were heading in the right direction, which is always good. And then kind of preparing for uh, a really good Jamestown team and, and a big playoff push. So um, just kind of getting back to the basics and, and kind of uh, redialing it back in and, and, you know, trying to get ready for this big push. Now you're talking about a playoff push. As a coach, do you dress the team differently when you know that the postseason is on the line? No, not really. Um, just kind of keep things easy, right, and uh, keep our process the same. So whenever, you know, we, we're in playoffs, it's, it's going to be no different. We have our identity, we have our game plan, and we're, we're sticking to it and executing it just like, uh, you know, it's, it's game three of the year um, as it is in, in the playoffs. So just kind of getting to our identity and, and playing the same way um, is, is important for us. Now, before you joined us on set, we interviewed Cooper Black, and he called you, what was it, Goody? Was Goody it, or was it Gooder? Gooder. He called you Gooder. So, is this a common nickname that you've had throughout your hockey career? And if you could pick one that your teammates have given you throughout the year, yeah, uh, what would it be? Yeah. So I'll give you a little bit of a story back on it. So um, the original Goots is where it stems from, um, and that's kind of like a, a spinoff of my last name. Um, and my dad was called Goots. Um, by some of his players when, when I was younger, and I was baby Goots. So I kind of embraced Goots, uh, and, you know, it just over the years, guys have spun it. Um, there's been Gooter, there's been Goots, there's Gots, and then uh, one of my best buddies, I don't know, this doesn't really make sense, but you'd call me Hoots. So uh, <laughs> kind of funny. So it's just, you know, something I think that's a, a big hockey thing is nicknames and all that good stuff, so it's fun. And a bunch of the guys, for some reason, call me Gooter here, so... Yeah, I'll, I'll stick to it. It's, it's not too bad. <laughs> well, thank you, Guter, for taking time out of your schedule to come talk to us. Black Bears are on the road this weekend at Jamestown. You can follow along the action at Black Bears NHL on Twitter. And they return home the following Friday, January 31st, for college night. You can get your tickets at tickets.marylandblackbear.com. Brandon got hit in the right, right ear with the puck. We'll see you next time. <laughs>